<laughs> Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Pauly Jr. here, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die with yours truly, Paulina Podgewood, who was a one-time sheriff in town, but is now, uh, well now she's in the army. She's got her combat helmet, combat booties, and an AK-47 um, assault rifle that we found right here in the bear den. And she is now truly, truly loaded for bear. Unfortunately, there's no more bears here to shoot. <laughs> so we cleared out the bear den. We had two zombie bears up here. We killed them and we earned a beer. Um, but hold on, Polly. Do not drink that beer yet. There's a couple things we need to do. So it is now day four, 7.30 in the morning. And I think today we're going to go, uh, we're going to go shopping. We're going to go over to Joel's trading post down the road. And we have some casino tokens that we found here at the beer den. And we also found silver nuggets and golden nuggets. And we have some other things to sell. So that'll be our priority for the day. But before we go, I found this wooden chest right here. It was literally behind a painting. Remember that painting I pointed out in the, it might have been the last episode. It was a, a painting of a guy's face right here. And I'm like, oh, look, it must be the mayor. <laughs> well, it turns out the paintings are of Kickstarter backers. Some of them anyway. And this particular painting got torn off the wall. I didn't do it. I think maybe a zombie or a bear did it. And right behind it was this uh, was this chest in this alcove. And Pauline has been waiting very patiently for you guys to hurry up and get over here so she can check it out. So go ahead, Pauline, open it up. No more waiting. <laughs> Sham sandwich and coffee seeds. <laughs> I'm not sure that was worth the wait. I don't think so. We have food. We have charred meat that Paulina cooked up. So let's go eat that meat and we'll cook up the rest of it too. We have one more. Well, no, we have plenty more raw meat. This is, um, what is this, goat meat? I mean, deer meat, right? I think it's deer. Yeah, we shot Bambi. Um, so let's go ahead and cook that up. So it takes five raw meat to make one chard. And this is the only recipe Paulina knows. This is literally all she can do right now is char meat. But sooner or later, when she learns how to cook, we're going to get corn on the cob, chili dogs, boiled eggs, etc., etc. But... Unfortunately, she's not a very good cook yet. So let's go ahead and eat this um, this deer meat. I think it's deer, right? Is that what that thing is? I shot a Bambi a few days ago. Mmm, delicious. Thank you for your sacrifice, little Bambi. All right, uh, let's wash that down with this beer right here. Ah, breakfast of champions. <laughs> it's going to make Paulina a little bit uh, rowdy, unfortunately, and out of focus. Ooh, but uh, she'll be fine in a moment. That'll go away. And now I think we're ready to go. Oh, let's put Bambi over here. We don't need to carry the rest of the Bambi around. So, yeah, we have these new guns. An assault rifle, the AK-47. We've got a pistol, compound bow, and a submachine gun over here, which we're going to leave behind. Uh, but we need to repair all this stuff because they are obviously in very bad shape. But we can make a repair kit to repair them. Or maybe we can buy them at, at, um, at Joel's. I'm not sure. But we can make them with forged iron oil. Cloth fragment and duct tape. I'm sure we can find all this stuff, but I'm not sure about the forged iron. I think we're going to have to either make that or, uh, or buy it. I don't think we can find it. I am not entirely positive about that, but hopefully we can find some at the trader. We're going to be here for a little while, probably, in this little town. And, uh, you know, we'll explore here for a little bit. We've got a few more buildings to go through. There really is no rush. It's only day four. My guess is we'll stay here until probably the uh, the first horde night, and then we can then we can leave. Because I want to explore this building, that building, and that building, and we're nice and close to the trader too, so we should take advantage of that while we can. So let's hustle on over there. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I don't want to do too much looting on the way, although painkillers certainly are nice. And this trash can right here might have something good, and this uh, brown sedan might have some decent stuff too. <laughs> How can I resist? Oh, look at that! Ammunition for the AK. That was definitely worth it. Yeah, it's hard to resist all this uh, loot down here. Ooh, that's nice. More tokens. So, all right. That's good enough. We'll come back for the pawn shop another time. All right, just check the mailbox, Paulina. All right, you're so addicted. I'm not going to carry that stuff around right now because it will slow us down. Yeah, we're going to have to um, invest more points into, what was it called, Pack Mule? I did actually spend my last point. I did level up off camera doing some work at the uh, at the Bear Den base. And I spent that point on strength. So now we can upgrade to 
pack mule, the next level of pack mule, because you need strength of three, I think it was. And we're now there. I know I said I was going to ignore all this stuff and just get to the trader, but I cannot resist. Oh, here we go. We got a zombie. 700 experience. Let's try out our new compound bow with this awesome sight. Oh my gosh, you're freaking out, dude. Just stand still. <laughs> Got the headshot anyway. Oh no, that was a big miss. That's too bad. These guys, man, they, they move around so much. We're just going to go to my reinforced club. There we go. So I made a reinforced club for Paulina. She made it for herself, really. And uh, it is basically iron reinforced wood. And it's a little stronger than the uh, old wooden variety. So it should last a little longer. And I think it does a little more damage, too. Not much, but every little bit counts, right? All right, we're just going to whack a stone a couple of times. Whack that little tree. All right, let's go. Trader's right over here. We'd like to get over there ASAP, get some trading done, and then go back to those buildings and do some more exploring. Oh, hi. You can get some more experience points coming this way. 700 XP is good. Oh, you're messing up the grass, lady. Mm. There we go. 700. I wonder if there's a perk that will increase the chance of zombies dropping a backpack. Because it seems really, really rare. I think I've only had one or two drop a backpack before. And the stuff they drop is pretty good. I mean, they seem to have pretty good loot. So it's probably worth it if there is one. Oh, oil is fantastic. We're going to need that for the uh, for the kit, repair kit. Oh, <laughs> that's Joel. Sorry, Joel. Didn't mean to try to take your bush. All right, in we go. It is Joel, right? I want to make sure I get the guy's name right. All right, let's put down the weapon. All right, here we go. Good morning. I just thing for what's ailing you. Yeah, I bet you do, Joel. Told you we'd be back. So let's go ahead and sell the golden nuggets. And they sell for, wow, 200, yeah, 140 a piece. Dang, that's good. And how about the silver? 300 for the silver. All right. And can I interest you in these uh, used wrenches? <laughs> I don't think we need all these wrenches. We have that one right there. And how about... Uh, well, you, know, you don't want the iron, huh? I guess not. Yeah, go keep. So, all right. Let's see what he's selling now. So we have now 718 Duke's coins. Oh, he's got duct tape. I'd love to buy some, but I bet we'll find some at 147 tokens. That seems like... That seems like a lot. How about the forged... Me oh, actually, let's just see if he has a repair kit. He does not. All right, then. How about forged iron? Oh, he's got some. And they're cheap. 36 tokens apiece. Let's get... Uh, let's buy three. I mean, it's going to be a long time before we're able to make forged iron, so we might as well just buy it. That'll give us three kits. And yeah, we can repair these weapons. Actually, we should probably get four, right? Because we have four weapons. Whoops. We have four weapons that we want to fix up, including the submachine gun. So, yeah. Let's um, make sure we just buy one, not 22 of them. There we go. So we have four forged iron. We just need duct tape and oil. I just found the oil. Maybe we should buy the duct tape. I mean, chances are we're going to find it, but how long is it going to be before we find it? I don't know how long these things are going to last. You know what I mean? Dart trap, simple lights, wire tools, fountains. Man, this guy sells all kinds of stuff. He even sells ammo, but is it 42 for one round? Wow. Yeah, that is really expensive. We're not going to do that. Hunting rifle for 16,000. Doesn't he have like a... Oh, yeah, secret stash over here. Claw hammer, leg armor, padded boots, leather gloves. Wow, this stuff is expensive. Padded boots, plus 6 armor rating, plus 4% resistance, better durability. So this is showing us how it compares to what Pauline is wearing. I think that might be worth it. They're like a level three, and they're super fashionable. All right, let's buy those boots. <laughs> Pauline, <laughs> padded boots. <laughs> Better than the combat boots. Uh, all right, what else can we get? I'm very tempted for the duct tape. I mean, I know we're going to find it, but why not just spend the coins while we have them, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, heck, let's just buy one, and we can repair the compound bow at the very least, right? 
Yeah, all right, thanks, Joel, for that duct tape. Okay, I'm gonna buy one more duct tape so that we can repair the compound bow and the pistol at the very least, but we don't have enough for another, so maybe we'll find some on the road. We all will. Thank you very much, Joel. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, buddy, keep it down out there, okay? Trying to concentrate. Girl's got to concentrate when she shops. <laughs> all right, let's try out these new boots first, and then we're going to make up a couple of uh, a couple of repair kits. Oh, look at that. You can modify these boots. That's some smart shopping, Paulina. <laughs> boots that she can modify. Wow, those are a perfect fit, and they're fashionable, too. They look like, like zebra. I think it's like a zebra style or something, huh? Very, very cool. All right, let's make up those repair kits. So we have everything we need, right, to make at least two of them. Yeah. All right, let's make one and, well, make two. We'll repair the compound bow and the pistol. And I hear, <gasps> I hear a plane. The plane, the plane, where is it? Oh, where did the plane go? Supply drop. Yay. I hear it, but I don't see it. The plane's on the other side of the trees. Hey, keep it down, I said. Uh, where's the actual supply drop? There it is, in that direction. Uh, let's see how far. That's not too far. It's not too bad. We could actually maybe walk along this road if it continues on in that direction and then head south. Ooh. All right, changing plans today. We're not going to go back to town. Whoa. What was that all about? We're not going to go... We're not going to go back to town and explore. I think what we'll do is, um... Go get that supply drop. Hey, Joel, can I interest you in a pair of slightly used boots? Wow, I guess so. 106. Thanks. <laughs> what a bargain. Great doing business with you. It sure I'm is. All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and repair this gun right here. With one of the kits and then repair the compound bow. And it's that easy. Wow. All right. So we need one more repair kit for the assault rifle. And then one for the um, uh, for the submachine gun. What is what is all this noise? Oh, there's doggies! Doggies! Look at this! We got a pack of wolves out here. Oh, ooh, that's good eating. They're not zombie dogs, are they? No, they're not zombie dogs. Okay, then this is perfect. They are actual wolves, and they're killing themselves in the fence. <laughs> So maybe if I can get a couple of shots in, get credit for them, get some experience. Ooh, 700 experience for a wolf. Nice. And they're not that hard to kill either. A lot easier than a bear. Oh, you know what? Let's go down here. Maybe get some headshots. Maybe get some headshots. They can't get in. Hey, that's my kill, dude. Don't you get too close. Oh, dang it. No dog. Over here. I got him. I got him. I got him. Hey, big fella. Ooh. This is great. I can hit him right through the fence. <laughs> Nice job, Paulina. Oh, there's another doggy. Oh, this is kind of sad. I don't really want to kill the, the wolves, but they want to get in here and eat Paulina, and they're going to be good eating as soon as we can get out of here. There we go. Hey, Joel, you're going to pay us for this, right? We're clearing the perimeter. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Is he dead? Yeah. All right. They're taking damage from the fence, obviously. They're walking all over that barbed wire. Oh, jeez, that was close. I think I'm hitting the... I think I hit the, the wall there. Is that it? Stay down, fella. There we go. All right, that's good XP. We could just stay here and level up. I hear one more, though. All right, one more. One more Fulio over here. Where are you? There you are. Oh, no. Ah, oh, ah, over here now. Over here. Come on, lady. Let's see that face. See that pretty face. Big smile. There we go. And down she goes for the count. Down for the count. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. All right. Let's go get the meats. Uh, oh, darn. I don't have a, a knife. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to use our axe and maybe get a bone from one of these wolves. And then we can make a knife out of it. Oh, look at the whole pack of wolvesies. And they're not zombie wolves, so we're going to get some lovely, tasty meat from these guys and there's our bone let's go ahead and whip up a shiv It'll be more efficient and let's try out our brand spanking new compound bow and why isn't it working why isn't it working there we go all right line it up line it up line it up nice headshot there boom headshot 
and a miss. Ooh, this guy's getting real close here. There we go. Still alive, huh? Man, we need to do more headshot damage. All right, we'll keep skilling that up. All right, let's go get our meats. We are going to be overloaded with the meat here, but I like the fat too. And the leather, so we can make some leather armor maybe. And I wonder if uh, if Joe will buy some of this stuff from us. I know that looks like a lot of meat, right? But remember, Paulina likes to char it. <laughs> it takes five meats to make one charred meat. So don't get too excited about all that meat there. Joel, can we borrow your campfire? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, here we go. Awesome. Rank it up. Charred meat. Oh, check it out. There's a forge. Forge right here. So I guess we could have made our own forged iron. Oh, well. You know what? We supported a local business today, and that makes me happy. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. Actually, let's eat first. Let's have one of these meats. That'll restore some stanima and fill up the belly. Eat a couple of those. And can we make any, like, leather... Well, we can make a leather poncho, but Paulina already has one of those. But what about, like, leather chest armor? Oh, we can do it on the workbench. We need duct tape. No. <laughs> I'm fresh out of duct tape. It's too bad because there is a workbench here. All right, I think... It's time to rock and roll. Let's go get this uh, this airdrop right down the road to the west. Oh, what do we got here? We have a sign, Spillway Lake. Uh, I guess that's a town or something. Well, it's definitely a lake. Oh yeah, I can see the lake and I see buildings. Sweet. Okay, it's getting kind of late, so we might have to hole up in one of these buildings down here, but. As you know, in Alpha 17, these buildings are usually loaded with zombies now. There's just so many of them. It takes like an hour just to clear one building these days. <laughs> it's crazy. Are you done, lady? Not done. Took her a second to get up, though, didn't it? Over here. In the brains. Oh! Woohoo! Level 6! We have another skill point to spend. Fantastic. Now, where is that airdrop? It's this direction. How much farther? Oh, it's pretty good ways. Can't stop and say hi to the locals. We just gotta keep moving. Got plenty of stamina now that we have that uh, wolf meat. It really makes a big difference keeping your stamina up. You swing faster, you run faster, it seems like. It's pretty awesome. I hate passing up some of this stuff, but we don't really have much choice. What is this? The Ansel Adams River. I remember this place. Back in like Alpha four or whatever <laughs> when I first started oh I hear a piggy wiggy yeah piggy wiggy wiggy I don't even need piggy wiggy we have plenty of meat right now plenty of meat maybe we'll use that one skill point to learn some new recipes but again we still need to get a grill or a um no or a uh a pot right so we gotta we gotta loot a house and maybe we can make one of those things I think we need a forge to do that though. Oh, there's a house down there, big one. And that is the direction of the airdrop. Let's go to the path at the very least. Follow the path down. What does this say? Information center? <laughs> cool. Is the information center up that way? Or is the information center down here? I'm not entirely sure. All right, we are gonna well, we're going to take this lady out because it's 700 XP. It's worth it. Practice my headshots. Boom! Headshot. Give me those arrows. And they do drop... Uh, they do occasionally drop backpacks, right? And they have good loot in those backpacks. But I've only seen one or two so far. So they seem to be extremely rare. Camping area and a rest area. Right. All right, there's the house. I don't know if I want to get too close to the house. It's probably loaded with zombies, So we'll just sneak on by. I feel like I'm really heavy here, because <laughs> I am. Uh, well, that we can scrap, right? Oh, there it is. It's 
right here by the house. How convenient. What do we got here? Food. Spiked knuckles. Jar of honey. Uh, I mean, it's not the best stuff, but of course we're going to take it all. <laughs> and now we are super encumbered. But these knuckles look really, really cool. Oh, it's a schematic. Schematics are used as ingredients to craft high-tech modifications to weapons and armor. Requires, yeah, science! Tier 1. Spiked knuckles. So this allows us to craft spiked knuckles? Is that what this is all about? Okay. Uh, well, let's bring that back home. I'll read about it and figure out how to use it. It appears to be a schematic of some kind. And I do have a magazine that gives us, yeah, science! For like 30 minutes. So maybe we can use that magazine to make this um make this uh spike glove would be like wolverine it's pretty cool now should we just go back to the bear den or should we maybe spend the night here hmm i mean it is kind of late already it's 5 30 it's gonna be dark soon uh looks like we don't have a choice paulina says lock and load we're going in <laughs> all right paulina you go first you're on point go scout it out let us know how it looks Paulina's got those uh, zebra boots on, so she she's camouflaged in that grass. It's like a natural camouflage. Nobody can see you, Paulina. Uh, all right, let's get up there and give her a hand. She's going to need our help. So I'm really debating just going in guns blazing. This thing does have a suppressor on it, so it'll be nice and quiet. The only thing is I hate to use... Oh, hi! Hello! Someone's coming out. I just hate to use up all the ammunition... Um, like during the day when it's easy to kill zombies. Oh, wait, this is the information center right here. I didn't even see that sign. Okay, good. We need information. <laughs> Come on out. Let's help this dude. Actually, let's fix up the stone axe first. Uh-oh, crickuses are here. So, yeah, I'd rather preserve the ammo. Oh, grab that arrow. Um, I'd rather preserve the gun ammo for situations where you really need it. You know, you got your back up against the wall. And you're in dire straits, surrounded, but I do want to do some shooting. All right, well, that's why I wanted to hang on to the bullets. Is <laughs> Perfect example why. And I think we got more coming. Oh, my gosh. We got to hustle it up. We got to take these stairs down. Hurry up. Hurry up. I know they can leap now. They can jump pretty high. Oh, pulling this out. Oh, no. Dang it. Watch, they can leap probably climb that, can't he? Oh, dang you. Maybe not. Get out of here. Get you out of here. My information center now. We have no information. Go away. <laughs> Holy smokes. Pulling this natural healing ability is kicking in right now. That's pretty cool. Looks like there's stuff underneath the stairs. Cool. 
We'll get that later. We need food. Elf needs food badly. Eat some of that wolf. That'll return some health and some stanima. There we go. Good work, Paulina. <sighs> All right, keep chopping. Chop the wood. All right, how's that? I think that should keep them out coming up that way, but I think there's a stair out front, too. Oh, no. Somebody's here. Get, no, get out. Get you out. Beat it. Is she fast? I couldn't tell. Oh, oh, she's still up. Don't forget to look for the 700 experience. <laughs> okay. Let's make up a couple of wood frames. Block this window. You might want to get up on the roof. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice big sky light up there. Fantastic. All right, um, I think we're going to call it quits right here for now. I'm going to loot this place and maybe find a pot, I hope. And then uh, we'll pick up right here in the morning. And we'll head out. What is that? A yucca seed. Ooh, yucca seed could be good. We can grow yucca. Make some al Get some aloe. 44 magnum. And a pot! We got a pot! Yay! We can do some real cooking. And a blueberry pie. This information center has everything. Corn! Lovely. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, as long as we make it through the night anyway and get out of here, <laughs> we can go back to the beer den tomorrow. All right, so yeah, we're going to call it quits right here. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. So have a good day. Bye-bye. Ooh, what was that?